Hi there, my name is Sandy Newborn and I head up operations at Odin Education. It gives me great pleasure to present our quarter three learning report. The third quarter of 2024 saw a huge change roll out across our network, a brand new operating system, including some new and exciting features that we have been piloting in one school since Q1 this year. Throughout this, our learners remained highly engaged with 91% of learners participating monthly across the platform. On average, 58% of learners were actively using their Omang device every day, logging an impressive 63,835 learning hours this quarter. The software migration, while necessary, did result in a temporary dip in learning time, particularly affecting the daily learning stats. However, thanks to great planning and execution, no learner was without their device for more than a few days. Despite the disruption, we still saw 60 minutes per learner per day study time at the peak of the transition, and by September, we were back at 75 minutes, showing a strong recovery. Sipa Mundla High School, which had completed the migration earlier in the year, continued to show consistent usage with a mind-blowing daily screen time of 170 minutes per learner in Q3. This gives us confidence that as the rest of the learners get comfortable with the new functionality, engagement will reach new heights. Campaign participation was lower than usual as we focused on communications around the transition. However, Website of the Week was still very popular, reaching 84% of learners across the network. We also introduced two exciting new campaigns, including Who Are You?, which allows learners to share their personal and inspirational stories with peers, and Pell AI, a club dedicated to exploring AI tools. These initiatives kept learners engaged and exploring new horizons, even during the migration period. As for curriculum mastery, our grade 12 pilot group showed impressive results, with an average of 51% content mastery across their seven subjects. Even more encouraging, 32% of these learners have mastered 80% or more of their content, and a further 23% have achieved 100% mastery in at least one subject, demonstrating the effectiveness of personalized resources and focused study. The rewards program continued to motivate learners, with 45,000 rands worth of drops earned in Q3 and 78,000 rands worth redeemed for rewards. A total of 715 rewards were redeemed nearly doubling the number from Q2. Notably, 76% of all drops earned in 2024 have now been redeemed. This has gone up significantly from Q2, while some learners are still saving up for higher value rewards. Most exciting in this space is that we have now fully automated and integrated both the awarding of drops and the ordering of items, making the system much more efficient and user-friendly. While there were some challenges stabilizing the new software system, the team has worked incredibly hard to overcome these and minimize the disruptions to the learners. We were also reminded this quarter of the particularly difficult conditions of the schools we support, where more than one school has struggled without electricity supply for weeks or even months. This also impacted the learner engagement in these schools due to device charging limitations. Rather than finding this discouraging, we are so proud to be able to bring hope and opportunities to these learners to give them a chance at changing their circumstances. And we continue to adapt and overcome these challenges as they pop up. As we look ahead to the final quarter, we're optimistic that the network will continue to grow in both participation and content mastery.